Smash time is in the building. 25 minutes, I wanted to like discuss um, some stigmas and like just like any questions that you might have regarding um, collegiate dancing. Um, once again, this this is a safe space. Uh, even though it is being recorded, I mean, you know, this, this is really, you know, between us. I don't want to gatekeep. I'm not that kind of girl. You know, so anything that, that I can share with you guys, I will. So this is really going to be like a Q&A while we eat. I just decided to put it together. Yeah. So do you have any questions about anything? Well, I feel like everybody can ask a question. I would like to Those are the things that they're looking for. So it's just be like them and the judges, and then judges telling them do this, this, and this, and that. Yeah. Any other questions? <laughs> so, like, generally, like, what did you do to, like, because, like, I mentioned earlier that um, you didn't have too much, like, technical or, like, that laid back <coughs> So, how did you feel, and, like, how did you feel this that you got around her? Okay, so, for one, very intimidating. Very intimidating dealing with girls who have been training their whole life. You find yourself feeling like a minority until you recognize what you have that everybody else don't have. So, I quickly recognized that I was creative. Now, when I was on All Star, I couldn't create nothing like, 
nothing. I was just such a such a lost, uh, a lost puppy when it came to like creating and stuff like that. But when uh, Miss Granger gave me um, a task, she gave me and my sisters a task to come up with like choreo, like like a stand routine or something, just to see like how creative we were. And my sisters didn't they didn't know what to do. They was like, oh, we can't put a turn, we can't put a combo in here. I'm like, no, this is for a stand. This is strictly like. You know, so that's where I knew where I fit it in the puzzle. My creativity, my swag, my energy. You know, so capitalize off of those things. I remember for my child, my coach um, asked me what my strengths and my weaknesses are. That is a question that they want to ask you. What are your strengths and what are, your, what are your weaknesses? I told her that my strength was my energy and my passion and my willingness, but my weakness is my technique. I just, like, didn't have that. And... It was to the point where like all of my other good attributes outweigh the technique because that's something that you can work on. But being teachable, those are things that they're looking for. Being adaptable, being able to adapt in any environment, that's what they're looking for. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of how I did that. And for you, if you don't have anywhere to go, we all got a house. We all got a backyard. Get in it. COVID, I was, I was locked in. I didn't have nothing to do. I was just going outside every day doing um, agility, doing those kinds of things. A whole while, Diva don't even do all that. But I'm just like doing it just to have it in my bag. I mean, like, you know, in my bag because I have the space opportunity. I don't have no studio, but I got a backyard. And I got YouTube. <laughs> okay. So, it is, oh yeah. Okay, so were there like any moments where you were like, when you joined the team, were, were there any moments, moments when you felt like it was too much for you? And like, how, if, if so, how did you overcome those? If I cry. Yes. Well, you answer that. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. yes. It is a lot. It is definitely a lot. But it's all in you and how you balance everything out. It's all about you at the end of the day, the person you are. So, for me... When you first come in as a freshman, it's just hard. You got dance, you got school, you just got a lot on your mind to think about. It's, it's a lot. But I just took the time to just balance my day out. I have study hall from this time. I have class from this time. And then, like, of course, practice. And I ain't really getting no sleep my freshman year. I was up. I was up and moving every hour, every hour. You got to be on your toes every time. Practicing, bettering yourself, your skills. It's gonna take a lot of work, but you can definitely do it. It's all in your mind. I would say freshman year is definitely the worst. Yes, it is. Keep it real. <laughs> Keep it humble. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it humble with the girls. Freshman year is definitely the worst because you have to adapt. You have to adapt to this new environment, this new team with these new girls, girls that's been there. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how they feel it. You gotta learn your coach. Like, you, you just have to learn a, a whole new, maybe a whole new city. Like, you know, it's just like a, a huge shift from high school to college. You're stepping into adulthood. So, of course, it's going to seem hard. But I would say, really, a time where I felt like it was too much was when I uh, injured myself. I injured myself my sophomore year of college and, like, that really took, like, a huge toll on me, like, having to, like, sit out and then, like, ugh, having to, like, wear a wrap under it, you know, trying to fight through the pain, you know what I'm saying? Because you always want to show the people that, you know, you can fight through the pain, you can push through the pain and all that. But don't kill yourself. Don't, don't kill yourself trying to please other people. Make sure that the school that you choose is the school that you want to go to. Make sure that they have your major because you're going to school for school. You're not going to school for dance. That was my problem. I went to school and I was diva, 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 diva. I wasn't doing no work. I wasn't doing no work. But that, that's how it is because it, it makes you feel like this is what I'm here for. This is what I'm in school for. But it's really not. It's really not. This is a job that you were assigned, but no. So for me, I definitely had to pray more and take more self-care days. Like, it's days that, like, I DNG, don't call me, for real, like, you know, or, you know, going to, to safe spaces like the library. Once you learn your campus, you're going to know where to go, you're going to know where to hide, so nobody's going to find you. I be going to the library, third floor, or I go 
go to the stadium. I used to sneak in the stadium at night and just sit and just pray to God that like I just get right. Like it was a lot of moments where I had to spend time with myself and with God to really figure out if this was really for me. And I would just ask him to like uh, remove the negative people in my life that I don't know is there. I would ask him to fill me up with the Holy Spirit and protect me from all the negative comments or energy that's trying to come my way. You know, because every day, I mean, you dealing with a group of girls. I mean, you got some tunes, okay? And then I'm, I'm a diva. I'm dealing with a bunch of diva, divalicious girls. So I definitely had to pray every day before I went in there. Because <laughs> it was, it's definitely a lot of different attitudes. But just keeping God first, take your self care days, and remaining humble and doing your job. Don't try to do nobody else's job. Because when it's your turn to have that job, you're not going to want nobody doing your job. So, keep that. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, was it difficult for, like, to switch over from, like, high school type of dancing to, like, freshman, you got, you got band camp, you got to stay up, you got crab, you got, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, it's like, you're a crab on the team, you got to do workouts. Like, was it hard? Like, um, well, honestly, because I was preparing so hard, I was actually fit. And during during the COVID tryout season, we had to do workouts every morning. So we would wake up at 5:30 or whatnot, maybe even six. I want to say I want to say it was 6 a.m. workouts, and it would be on Zoom, and it would be with this man called Burn Bootcamp or something on YouTube. And my coach would really like be on Zoom. <laughs> she would, sometimes what she, she said she would do it. as a freshman I didn't know if she was really doing it or not because I'm trying to go hard I'm doing you know they got the, the intermediate the advanced and then you know pregnancy modifications you know those so I'm trying to do the advanced like you know I'm showing her like girl I got the energy I'm working hard you know what I'm saying so I was already fit but a word of advice girl forget high school like you're not gonna remember no body by the time you make it to the end of your first semester by the time you make it to December of your freshman year, you're not going to know nobody in high school. You're not going to care about them. It's just, they, they just gone. So start your new life. When you go to college, you start a brand new life. Start, it's a, it's a clean slate for real. Like, you start off with a 4.0 in school, in college. Yes, you start off with a 4.0. You determine if your GPA drops. You start off with all these. I mean, nothing, you ain't do nothing. So... You you determine your future from the moment you step foot on campus. For me, it was hard only because GGs have a lot of energy. It takes a lot to be a GG, okay? Woo! Um, yeah. okay. So working out and stuff, I ain't gonna lie, y'all had some weight on me. I was thick, real thick, okay? I had a stomach, everything. So working out and stuff was kind of hard for me, but I got used to it. The first day of band camp kind of like surprised me, like, whoa, like it hit me in the face. I wasn't really prepared, but at that moment I was like, okay, it's, it's game time. Like, no slack, and it's time to really put my head into what I really want to do. So, yeah, for me it was hard, but you get used to it after a while. Those 5 a.m. practices, you get used to all of it. It just depends on you. Audition process. Did they interview y'all? Oh, yes. Oh my god. Thank you for asking. So, yes. Girl, I got interviewed. This is what. <laughs> okay, so I wore I wore a burgundy crop top. I wore a long sleeve burgundy crop top with um, blue jeans, but only only the, the crop top show or whatever. I just want to show my six pack off. Like, I don't know. I don't know why I want to do that. But I had a crop top on. And I was just smiling. I was like, hello, hello. And of course, first of all, we have an advantage. We're from New Orleans. They love us. They love our voice. They love what we do. They love our smile. So I was like, you know, hello, whatever. And they asked me what's my stress and my weaknesses and uh, how would I react if this situation would happen or, or they'll ask something like, um, uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Oh, what could you bring to the team? They always ask you, what could you bring to the team? So like those are things that like you want to think about in those interviews. But do not wear no burgundy crop top. Black and white is most efficient. Do not wear no school colors or, or none of that. Like treat it like a, a a business meeting, like a like like a real interview. You know what I'm saying? So button down white shirt, so safe. 
button down white shirt. Y'all can even spice it up, do silk, okay? Do a silk white shirt from Target. Hair neatly pulled back, light makeup. Excuse me, light makeup. Don't go overboard with the makeup. They don't like it. They don't like it. Be like naturally yourself. You can do a little something, something but don't do all that. That's just a little uh, etiquette. The stupid long nails, probably not. I'm going to say for Diva, though. Like, for Diva, stupid long nails, no. Uh, no big lashes, pink lashes. No, no big lashes. No. Like, <laughs> no. and piercings, not not really even piercings, like, but maybe a little, a little, eh, that'll do. Really clear. But like, yeah, really, really clear, but all the 40 million billion, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, nah, they're, they're really going to slide. So yeah, that's just a little um, interview etiquette and attire tips. Yeah. Oh. So this question is specifically pertaining to the Golden Girls. How was it like collaborating and dancing around so many well-known girls here? Like Rihanna, Madison, Star, Sky, like all those big well-known girls. Like, how was it for you? It was fun. It was fun. You actually really get to know them and their personalities and how they really are. So, like besides looking at them on TV and actually getting with them in person, actually working with them, it's fun. And it's 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 a vibe. Yes. <laughs> um, what exactly do you do at BNK? Um, I <laughs> oh, you wanna go first? <laughs> okay. All right. So bad camp. Here's a day at bad camp. Four in the morning. Wake up. <laughs> Four in the morning. Wake up. But it's so, it's so fun. It's so fun. It sounds terrible, but it's so fun. You wake up at four in the morning. You got on your black and white. Black t I mean black pants, white shirt, solid shoes, and you walk across the street to or walk to wherever y'all practice is gonna be. Usually it's like the bad parking lot or something. This is this is for Diva though. Everybody be to the parking lot, the whole band, you got the drum band just waiting on who who gonna be late, because we're gonna work out even more. And then um, you know, we're we're there and then we do a full team workout, like like a full band workout, full band, um, you know, everything. And then we maybe run, run two laps and then we disperse. And then we work on walks. Walks and struts and stuff like that, and then it's breakfast. Then you come back for breakfast and then we work at all stands for hours and hours and hours because you have freshmen that probably don't know it. And then you have upper class that probably forgot it because it's band camp. It's August. We just came from a long, long break. Then lunchtime after all those stands and then we come back, ask for the stands. Obviously the freshmen don't know the stands, so we gotta go over again. And now we doing technique or field or anything like that. And then now it's dinner. I mean, now it's wait, did I say lunch? No, yeah, now it's lunch. Now we back from lunch, now it's field. So like every day, it's like band camp usually consists of the freshmen learning and the upperclassmen making stuff up. So we mostly like separated during those times. So like the freshmen will be, will be with their mother in a room learning these stands and stuff like that. And somebody like me, just like a regular upperclass, I would be upstairs creating a staring team or field show to use for future reference. So yeah, that's like it's like a typical day. Then at the end, we you will all come together. The band will come back together. They'll play their few songs. We go over the, the dance or the stance that we just taught. And then wake up again and do it the next day and again and again. It's basically the same thing. Literally, what she just said. It's the same thing. Literally. They get up at four, but we get up at five. We got an extra hour. <laughs> <You're insane. laughs> Some, sometimes it varies, you know, they'll text and be like, oh yeah, come for seven, you know, if, if, if it's seven o'clock, a.m. is a call time, that's like a blessing, that's like a blessing. Um, what was the longest practice y'all had, like, like dealing with school? Oh my God, it was the night before classic, it was the night before classic, bro. My coach did not like the stand routine that the stand committee made up. And she was like, no, this was just like the night before classes. The night before we battled the stand game. My coach was like, I don't like it. So I'm like, oh, okay. So at this point, Kendall is the captain. I don't know if y'all know who that is, Kendall J. And 
we're we're sitting there and we just like oh girl we just was like we gonna be here all night we ordered pizza we got snacks and we just was there we was at the war so we don't have a dance room unfortunately we do not have a dance room and that's kind of a problem for a lot of uh dance schools but i mean uh HBCUs, but we don't have a dance room so we we just like in a classroom and i'm just like bro so hungry so then i came up with a comment I came up with the count that like people recognize today and that is just that that one stand that we did was the only thing new that we did but we spent hours and hours on that we didn't leave till like maybe two maybe I know I didn't get no sleep nobody didn't get no sleep because we had to stay up I gotta do makeup I'm a makeup artist too so I'm doing the girls makeup and stuff on the team Ugh. Jesus Christ, no sleep. Running off red books. But it's <laughs> yeah, fucking like nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, okay. ah, the longest breaks I had probably is like three in the morning. It always be Jackson State with me though, every time. Yeah, it's always the, the hugest battle. Yes. So our hugest battle is to get to the best Jackson State girls. That's nasty battle girls. <laughs> Any more questions? We got about. About five more minutes before we get to the next one. This is the next one for a college student audition for a collegiate team. I feel like, you know, just a lot because I didn't make auditions the first time because I'm not taking them. So, like, what are some things I could do? Um, we can go down. Um, some advice I need is always push yourself step outside the box don't be scared to go take it a little bit first you know you might be okay i feel like i'm doing okay but always take it further do more push yourself always um i say believe in yourself don't don't let nobody tear you down don't let nobody tear you down um yeah that's how it's right now just right now yeah yeah i i definitely agree with don't let nobody tear you down um, everybody didn't believe that I was going to make the team. Everybody didn't believe that I was going to make Diva or even last long there. You know, but just don't listen to other people um, and do not compare yourself. That is my biggest piece of advice. Do not compare yourself to nobody. Nobody. Not even your bestest friend. Okay? You are your own person. You are your own individual. You have your own story. Like, don't compare yourself to nobody else. You on your own path. Once you start looking at what somebody else got and comparing their their growth and their status to yours, that's when you not even focusing on where you're going. So you bumping into stuff all along the way because you're not focused on what you need to focus on. And the people that's going up, they're not even looking at. Like, you know, they, they focus. So just stay focused on what you. you. You say you tried out and you know why you didn't make it. Confidence is like really, oh my god, what's that show name? Um, Euphoria. I think Maddie said that uh, confidence is like 90% of like life. Like nobody knows if it's real or not, but they just see it. You know what I'm saying? So somebody could be bluffy, like they're confident, but they're not. Sometimes you might got a bluff. You know, just always exude that confidence. It really makes you stand out. Like, so next time you go with auditions, have that confidence. One second, Cody. Have that confidence, and you know what you need to work on. You know what I said in the kitchen, working on it, working on tight that cord, moving the legs, going outside, doing the agilities, and you know using that that space. This is a gym. The gym ain't nowhere different from a piece of grass, a field, right? So you know what you need to work on. And I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. Yes, Cody. Um, <laughs> they, they had to, uh, Cody. What? 
Oh, you she said, would dance have our legs hurting? No, what day? What day? Oh. Oh my God, I would say like New York. <laughs> I would say in New York. Yeah, in New York, we had to do a uh, parade. The Basie States Giving Parade. And it was a lot of practices in between that. But um, the day of the parade, legs hurting so bad. Death. Death comes. <laughs> 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 <But> yeah. <laughs> for her to transition from studio style to majorette style. I think that's your question. Um, and to answer that, I would really just say yes, it is hard, but it's not non-obtainable. Like, you, you can do it. The same thing that the girls who don't have technique, like, they have to do that, you have to do the same thing. So it was kind of like me and my sister Morgan were helping each other because I'm teaching her how to kill the stairs and she's teaching me the fundamentals of technique. So I would say just, like, find somebody who can work with you with majorette style. If not, if you don't have nobody at school, I do do classes. They will do classes as well for, like, majorette style dance. So I would say just, like, reach out to those people that help you with that. And just get in the mirror a lot. Because you think you look good, but you probably don't. You know what I'm saying? So somebody, people have to look in the mirror. Any more questions? Alrighty, I'm going to gather everybody plates. We're going to do one more warm-up. Get y'all counts ready. 